Hey y'all, thanks for watching Dee Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. Here we have Coconut. Uh, Mom found me through YouTube looking up how to groom a Yorkie on our channel. She watched JoJo and then she went to our web website because I was telling her to, hey, to, you know, telling you guys to buy product and she wanted some shampoo. So she went to the website and realized, wow, she is five, eight miles down the road. So she called and booked an appointment. She was very thorough about getting everything done prior. She had texted me vaccination records. We couldn't get on the phone for through the holidays, so she had already texted me stuff. So it was really, she was super proactive. So that's what you should do. You should always have your uh, vaccination records like on hand. Anyhow, she found me because she has a very aggressive pet. This is an aggressive Yorkie, she's, she told me. So I don't know what I'm expecting, but I do know he's matted in places around his face. Definitely all back here, he's matted. And because so you can see all the chunks of hair, and you can tell uh, right there while he's sitting there while we're doing check-in, you know, that he's matted. So I have already got permission to do a shortcut. If we're working with an aggressive pet, you don't want to demat. You don't want to sit there and just upset the pet more, right? So I've already said, hey, we're, this is what I want to do. I want to do a short haircut and get you on a maintenance program. She agrees. Another option is we take longer, which usually upsets the pet, you know, stresses them out more. We take longer and actually demat. I, I, I'm not doing that, right? So there's, just, there's no option for me. So I'm going to try to leave some hair. Um, it is 21 degrees this morning in January 2018. So I'm gonna go with what I feel is a four guard down. And I know the four guard is not gonna get through the mats, but at least I can keep some of this as not matted and see if I can blend some of it into a decent haircut, okay? So here we go. And let me get my mask on. So you guys are, uh, there's some of you guys waiting on some masks. They should be in any day now. And they're kind of already sold out. So if you guys are interested in the masks, email me so that I can get the orders in in advance. They are, most of the, I, I actually like trying different masks and I like to have two or three of, around. So here's one I got in from Taiwan. This is from uh, someone in the US that makes them. Um, we have one hanging, so we have, set, we always have several masks because when ones get funky, one's in the wash and one's not. But I love these masks, it helps prevent the hair from going. There's dander going everywhere, right? And I like to pr prevent getting sick and I prevent the hair going into my lungs because prickly hair that's all over my skin later is in my lungs and it's not coming out ever. So it's just going to stick in my lungs and this is just as little I can do is prevent it from going into my, my airway. So I'm gonna try to keep this on while I'm talking. But if you want one, email me because they sell out fast, but they're super handy. And this one is it's funky. This is smelling funky. So, so that one needs to be washed. And then we're going to go back to this one. But I like to try different. Um, there, I have to pre-order them, and it takes a few weeks because they all hand. Most of them, not all of them, are handmade. So here we are. We're going down with the floor while I'm talking. Most of them are handmade, and I should do my before picture, you guys. So if you had, get something handmade, which is really hard to find, then it takes weeks. And then the other option is that sometimes sometimes they're I'm getting them from a different country I do love to explore and try different brands and uh, not brands but different people who make them so I'm always trying something new to find the best so if you order one it may be something I have or have to order so you want to order in advance so I, I'm forgetting that he's aggressive so I am watching what's going on but and in a minute because they're pretty fast in a minute once I get past this part I'm probably going to muzzle him so this is a four guard down if I get to a snag I'm gonna back away from it and come back to it later like all that I'm not gonna force it through right now it's all pretty knotted up in here she just said, she also said she had bathed the pet on New Year's Eve. I wish she wouldn't have. Knots get thicker and tighter with water. So if you have a matted dog, don't bathe it. Uh, start working the mats out or leave it completely alone. I understand some situations are the dog is really, really smelly. So I, I get it. it. It may have been the only option for her. But if you can avoid... 
sounding sounding like it needs oil. If you can avoid baiting the dog when it's like matted like this, do just avoid it. I'm waiting for that aggression to show me something here. I'm waiting for you to show me some where I need to watch out for. So aggression, this is pretty loose right now. Hi, it's okay. You're okay. You're okay. This is pretty good. This is pretty loose, so he, he does have enough room to whip back and really do some damage. I know, don't get mad at me. There's a pretty good knot in there. See, it went right through the, it went, the floor went right under it. Not here, though. Don't get mad. See, I might piss him off <laughs> trying to do this four guard situation. So I've got a lot of that hair out of my way for a minute. So I can kind of see what I'm working with on the mats. Clean your, clean your chicken. Oh yeah, it's perfect. It's not even hot at all. So the ceramic blades are a lot cooler than the regular blades. Okay. He might not like me getting up into his face, but hi. Don't get, he's licking his chops a little bit. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Can I get in here? I hate these cords. Did I mention that before? Come here. You're okay. The chin's all matted, so I mean. Okay, let's see. Let's just, uh, 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 don't get mad. Don't get mad. Uh, 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 you're okay. He's got a serious overbite. It's kind of cute. Look at that. I can see. Oh gosh, it's so matted in there. So I'm probably going to go down with my tin here. Okay. I'm holding my cord here, watching the, the dog. Okay, don't get mad at me. I'm kind of finding an edge that I can push up because I'm going to swipe down all this matted stuff here with my tent. I got my tent on here. It's all matted in there. I'm hoping to come back and try to fix it a little bit after I get the mats out. I do not trust him yet. Come here, let me see. Let me see. You just never know. I know. Look at your little, little faces here. Real light, just to get under the mats and pull out. I'm not trying to do the ten all the way to the body, but if it has to be, it has to be. Let's see. I'm gonna come down. I can feel matting in here, so I'm just gonna come forward with this, creating that. Uh, it'll be a teddy bear head. I'm trying not to take as much as I have to take, but. I am going to take the mats out though, there's no doubt about that. I'm not going to brush that stuff out on an aggressive situation. I'm going to come back with my four guard and see if it'll go through some of these light mats that he's got here. But after I get done, you're going to barely tell everything I've shaved, hopefully. Because, come on, let me see. Let me see. Okay, let me see. You're doing so good. See all these knots and stuff. Okay. Now keep in mind, I had the fair forewarning that he's aggressive, so that's what I'm working with. But right now we're doing really good. Okay, so I'm gonna come back and kind of just work some of these knots out before I remove my tin. The tail was pretty matted, so I'm hoping that. It I can save some of this, but you never know. The tail is pretty small in there. So I do know we're going to take all this down because I could feel the, the bumper of the tail right there. So all this will come down anyway. So you do a short sanitary. I know he's, are you worried? You worried? You're okay, buddy. When you have mats, the blade needs to go under the matting in order to pull out, so. And again, using the back of my hand here, kind of creating, cutting all that out there. And now I'm gonna go sideways instead of straight down. And that way I'm gonna come back with my four and see if it'll actually go through 
the stuff I'm gonna cut through. I'm not cutting it off, I'm just cutting through it, right? Might as well do the tunnel there. Make sure if you're if you're grooming here and you couldn't tell, but he's neutered. If you're grooming, make sure he's neutered before you come swinging your clippers through here. It's easy to cut the scrotum area, which is possible when you think that they possibly might be uh, neutered and you didn't check first. Just kind of slicing through. I'm not cutting downward, but I'm not the whole blade anyway. I'm slicing through that those mats. Okay, we're going to get my four guard. Okay, up, up. Okay. I'm going to come through and see if it'll go through, and it seems to be coming through there. The stuff behind here, I can shave that with the 10, no worries. I've got my eye on his face. And because I'm coming down with the 10, and kind of, I'm going to come back with my 7, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. I'm going to fade the legs here. I'm going to come back with my seven down and clean all that up. Okay, we got a mat in there. That'll be, we'll chop that out with the 10 here in a minute. This bulk, usually when things are sticking out like that, it's because it's matted. So don't get mad at me now. You guys saw on the cat the other day, mats. They're pulling at the skin, so that's why do animals, dogs, and cats both will get mad. So it's painful. Can I come in here? Come here. Let me see. Gives me this look, man. I'm just really lightly kind of. I'm gonna. T I'm gonna come back with my four, but really lightly with my ten. Kind of just getting some of this out of my way so I can see what I'm working with. Clipper is not touching the skin at all or the body. It's just pulling out those mats. He's really looking like a mess right now, let me tell you. And there's lots of static, so use your leave-in conditioner or water to kind of get all that off. And especially be static when it's cold. Switching blades here. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to switch out to my seven. And just in case, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try this new uh, muzzle we got the other day. <laughs> it's super cute. We are gonna sell them. If you want one, email me. I don't have a, a, a lot of them in stock yet, but we will be carrying them. And you can order if you order it, I'll send it out. But I don't know that it'll work all the way. But we are gonna use it right now. So I'm gonna use my seven down the legs. He's just gonna have to have short legs today. Barely coming backwards there. Come back with your 10 under the armpits because they're matted. But this stuff out here I can grab without cutting any skin. That's all matted there. So come back with your 10 when it's really matted. Go straight down, hold that arm like this and go straight down with whatever blade you're using. Some clippers, if that's matted, so come back with your 10. Don't force it. You might pull skin through there and completely regret it. So hold the leg up like this. Not stretching that out, but just with support. On Yorkies especially, watch that bone on their knee. Go straight down there. Come down here, get your inside angle, go straight down. I'm gonna come back with the 10 right there. you didn't know when you use a muzzle it doesn't mean they're not going to bite you through the muzzle so in all muzzles except for maybe the 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 one that looks like a cage around the muzzle but those are pretty heavy so they're hard to use so this is all matted in here okay let me see 
So right here with an aggressive dog, you need to watch what's going on or this might not be the right angle for you. But he's doing good. I'm just gonna have to you know, be careful. I think we're gonna maybe find that aggression around the, I wanna say maybe the pads and the nails and then the blow dry. But I'm not seeing like where I, I don't know him yet. So I have my guard up, but I'm not seeing where I feel he's really angry about something yet. So it might be the fact that he's been at a groom salon where, because she said she's been told he's aggressive at other places. Maybe a, a dog that is aggressive, sometimes there's too many dogs around, uh, too much going on. The wait time was like hours. All that intensifies the stress the dog's going through. So because there's no other animals in here right now, he has a private appointment. That might be why he is not flipping out. Sometimes just changing the environment does a whole lot. Let me see. One of my clients said the feet are always matted. So right here, if the feet was matted, I would actually take my 10 backwards and do clean feet on that dog. And I would then tell pet parents uh, to brush between the toes at home regularly to prevent the matting so you can kind of have the long hair there. Watch your armpits. This is an area you can really cut if you're not careful. Don't dig too hard and watch your skin there, the folds of the skin. Okay. I'm going to hike this up and go this way. When you take down the hair on the legs, just go all the way down, kind of fade right there, kind of let it off. Just depends on how short you're going all the way around. You can't, I'm doing a seven here. But if I was using a 10, I would just take the 10 down, all down the legs, but I'm not, I'm using a seven. But a 10 all the way in here is good because you're cleaning out the sanitary cleanliness stuff. Okay, I'm gonna come to the front, so lift him and do the sanitary. Come here, baby, go up. You can come up here to grab those knots without, cause there's a, some skin right there in that joint. So I always come up to move, move stuff around and then come back down. And I'm not really scraping necessarily the actual skin itself. Here in Texas, I always do the summer cut with the, not a summer cut, but I always shave down the belly so that if it's hot, they can lay on the tile. Even in the winter, it's just something I do. Kind of see if you can kind of see it you know clean it up there okay come down since we're not going to blow dry him mom already told me he hates the blow dryer so when we're not going to since we're not going to blow dry him um you want to get the haircut as best as you can before the cut before the bath So if you want one of these muzzles, it comes in a kit, um, just email me. I don't have the prices for you yet, but they won't be online just yet. So you'll have to email me if you really want one of those. It's cute, but he hasn't tried to bite. I'm still waiting to use it on a dog that's actually trying to bite me to see how, uh, to see how effective it is. It may not be effective at all. You just never know. Every dog is different. Every situation is different. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. I'll still continue trying it on other dogs. Okay, so I'm coming with my two down, which is going to be going with the skin, with the uh, growth of the hair. So we'll go back this way with the two. He's not making a peep, is he? <laughs> I'm waiting to see. Are you aggressive at all? Like, what happened? <laughs> this is all matted in there. I'll have to mess with that. I think I'm going to mess with that after the bath. We'll see. Take this muzzle off here in a few and try it. Okay. 
I've got too much hair. What's going on here? Huh? Yeah, hi. I'm just coming down the ears, too. Let me get all this hair out of here. I'm not going to do, um, I don't know. Oh, he's got an ear infection. This is an ear infection. It's all swollen and there's hair still stuck in there. So it's all crusty and dried up. We'll see what the other side looks like now. So those of you are looking at ears, um, looking at trying to do some ears, this will be a, per let me turn this off. This will be a perfect opportunity to look at some. So same thing, but looking at the color, uh, uh, in my opinion, the ear canal is swollen, but looking at the color, it's an allergy thing, but that's my opinion. Okay. I'm going to attack the feet now and then come back to the, do the head last, and that way I can get that muzzle off of him. I'm just going to try to anticipate that he doesn't like his feet messed with because the aggression's got to come from somewhere. Although the mom did say he hates the blow dryer. So because of that, we, we are opting not to blow dry, which is, you know, break your clients into whatever kind of grooms they need. So I'm going to do the pads. If a dog has had nail trimming and clicked a lot, then their aggression turns can turn into their feet. Quicking will happen. That means you, you hit the vein, but if you're doing that on every dog, then it's, it, believe it or not, it does cause trauma over the long term, and they do act out. I usually get get those guys in and have to rehabilitate them for about six months before they trust with the nail trimming uh, someone not hitting the vein. So I'm trying to anticipate that, you know, where's his, where's he going to get aggressive? So he's doing good now. So we'll just see maybe it's the front feet. Or maybe it was completely the environment and the change environment. He is really just cool. He's just fine. But I'm, I'm super glad mom found me. Because she said he's very aggressive, so she'll love this video. Too bad. Well, he wasn't aggressive until the very last minute, if, if that. But are you guys out there, if you have an aggressive dog, let's get it grooming before the mats start. It just makes it a tougher situation. If he was acting a, a fool right now, it'd be really tough. When you're in here, if you can see it inside the pads, it's matted, you gotta get all that out. I don't care if you have to dig hard, but I'm not digging hard because I'm not seeing that. Just I wanna see the pads. And I'm, I, you know what I'm doing, I'm eyeing those toenails too, so. You can even lightly, I like to see my, that little pad there too, so you can kind of, instead of hand scissoring, you can kind of lightly, not hard, lightly take that 40 there, that area too. So we have matting here, so I'm gonna really, I'm get all the big mats out and then come back and sh make sure, okay. Make sure inside that pad, it's pretty deep sometimes, make sure that's all cleaned out real well. You guys, man, I just think he's doing great. What do you think? He's doing great. Okay, and I am just hitting my clippers all over the place today. Okay, um. We're gonna come back and do nail trim real fast so I can take this muzzle off of him. The nail trim video will be coming out. It's just a 13 years, 14 years of education going into a video, so that'll be coming out. Yeah, it might be the nails, huh? You might not like the nail trim. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. You're okay. So he's gonna move around and to make sure I don't get too much hair all over me, I'm going to sweep the table real fast. So if, you, if you're watching and you're wondering how to do nails, the nail video will be out soon. It will be one that you have to pay for because I'm sharing with you my life's work. It'll probably be a DVD instead of a YouTube video, um, and you'll buy a DVD. Now, one of the ways that you're going to be able to hold this pet is because in case he gets mad at me, I'm going to tighten this. Not a lot. You still got wiggle room. You're okay. Tighten that, and I'm actually gonna come around this way. Hey, 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 you're okay. You're okay. Shh. I'm gonna come around here and pull his head tight a little bit. So if he bites me, he bites my elbow. And now I'm gonna trim here. 
giving him full support on his knees and everything and not bending his knees the wrong way. So his nails, I can see the vein, which I'm not gonna go into right now, but if somebody took too much off and quicked him, that would be the pain where he might be like, what are you doing back there? Get out of there, you know, he doesn't want you to take very much off. So same thing here. And I learned this by myself because I would have to do grooming and nail trimming. Yeah, that's what it is. It's okay. It's okay. So he's really mean with the nail trimming, right? So uh, will you put your hand on him just a second here? It's okay. So this allows me to just kind of get a grip on him and prevent him from really biting me, but I'm gonna do a lay down. So I'm gonna broom. I'm gonna lay him down and comfort him. So here we go. So he could scratch me up real good here. He's holding on tight. And I've got my elbow on his chin. I'm just gonna give him some loving here. And all this I learned by myself when I would work by myself. For many years I worked for the FAA, the government, during the day, and at night I would groom. And at night I would be grooming by myself. And I had, you don't say, no, I couldn't get the nails done, sorry. No, you have to get them done and you've gotta just figure out a way, right? So here we go. Let me see. I know what I'm doing, though, okay? Don't get mad. And watch your face here. Watch your face. He can scratch my face and, and really fast scratch my eyeballs. Look how long these are. I don't know what happened, but we're going to fix it, okay? Okay, don't get mad at me. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Yes, I do. I do know what I'm doing. Yes, I do. I know what I'm doing. I do. I'm not going to hit your vein, okay? I'm not going to hit your vein. No, I'm not going to hit your vein, baby. No, 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 no. No, no, you're okay, coconut. Coconut's okay. Coconut's okay. Yes, it is. I'm not gonna answer that. No, we're not. We're not answering that. See, those people have to wait, right? Those people have to wait. Yep. See the veins right there. There's not much to take off. See, I told you I knew what I was doing. Yes, I did. I told you. So I've got a lot of force on him right now. I'm like laying my chest on him. Okay, so it's not easy, you guys. No, no, no. Oh, 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 his mouth is coming off that muzzle. Okay, let's regroup, let's regroup, let's regroup. You're okay, hey, 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 you're okay. You're okay, is that muzzle bothering you? Hold on, hold on, let me see, let me see. I put the muzzle on you, don't get mad. Okay, okay, D did it come off? Did you get it off? Not yet. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, I finally got it. Yeah, it's in your mouth though. Okay. So he's gonna be mean. Okay, let me tighten him up here. Anything's happening, okay? And if you're a groomer, you should be able to handle this without help, no offense. I have David, but I've worked alone for so long. I, I worked, when I worked for um, those big box places as a bather, they would be like, help me here, help me there. I, you need to be able to handle it. That's why we get paid the commission. The bathers get paid an hourly. Okay, so he's, so I don't like that a little bit, right? He, he, any muzzle they're gonna get out of, he can get out of this one. But I could not get my hands off the clippy after he got that plastic thing in his mouth. Okay, but I still am gonna use it. It's just not just, it's a little too loose for his muzzle. Okay, here we go, we're gonna go back down. Cause I have, I think I have this paw left. You need to go fast here. Be, oh, stop. Stop. You need to go fast because he's already scratching my forearms. Put your, let me see. No. Let me see. Shh. You're okay. Let me see. Give me this foot. Come on. Give me this. Okay. You're okay. So otherwise, if I didn't have this towel, then he would already have bit me. Like, there's too much, too much. I can't reach over there, sweetie. Okay, here we go. So, take a moment to breathe. Calm down, everyone calm down. My heart, calm my own heart, breathe down, okay? And let him know you're okay. And be ready because he's gonna, be ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. There's not a lot to take off. So whoever did the nails before has to hit the vein probably every time. There's not a lot to take off on some of these dogs. 
Every dog's different. Every dog's nail is different from the one next to it. Okay, see? See, you're fine. You're fine. So, he did great with his back nails, right? Okay, now we're gonna get up. Are you ready? Okay. We wanna get up calm, not exciting all crazy, unless, unless you have to. Okay, here we go. Good job. Good job. That was crazy. Yes, it was. Woo, I'm so sorry. Okay, we're done with that. We're done with that. Let me get the muzzle off. Who put that muzzle on you anyway? I don't know. Who put that thing on you? I hate that thing. Yes, I do. I hate it. Phew. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. Yes, you are. You're okay. You're okay. Yes. We're all done with that now. So, I would I tell you guys, I knew it was something. So if I didn't have the muzzle on, man, when I went to the front, he would have really got mad. Come here, come here, come here. Don't get mad at me, come here, come here. You're okay. You don't wanna, he doesn't wanna look at me now. Okay, but he's going to have to look at me because I have to do his face. So I'm gonna use my seven here and get all this stuff down here. I don't really wanna use my 10. But yeah, I'm gonna use my 10 because it's all wet and sloppy. So come back with your 10 here. Don't be mad at me, I really helped you. Yes, I did, I helped you, I know I did. I'm just getting what I can in any direction I can get it, right? You're okay, you are okay. Yes, you are, you're okay. Man, someone's really trying to get a hold of me. Shh. It's matted in there. Big mat coming out. There you go. You're okay. You're okay. Come here. Let me see this eyeball here. There we go. Yeah, man. Okay. Actually, I don't like that too because we've done the whole body in the four. All these hairs sticking out and stuff. I'm gonna come back with my four now. He's not wanting to look at me, which is fine. He's still mad. Come down with my four here. Just edge it right up to the chin where you took all that out. You're okay. Watch the eyeballs, but get in there. Got some mats in there, so I'm glad I'm gonna go ahead and take my tin down on here. Watch your flaps, they can still go inside the teeth of the guard. Watch your ear flaps. And again, the whole reason I'm spending so much time here is because we're not doing anything after the bath. He is. Maybe a couple hand scissors, but it's, it, we're done. Because we're not blow drying. He's going to go home a tiny bit damp. It's exhausting, isn't it? Yes, it is. He will sleep through today. Okay. So... I'm not gonna try to do the picking up that I normally do, picking up the feet and messing with them and all that. I'm just gonna brush them up and round them off here. Same thing over here. And he's like, what are you doing, buddy? I'm gonna come back with my 10 there. I can see some hair just as he's squatting here. Hair just sticks out there. Make sure you know what you're doing. Stand up. So, do you see what I'm saying? Like right here, you can just trim that there if you want. Make sure you don't grab skin there. If you don't know, feel. Okay. okay, so brush that down so you can see it's sticking out. Brush it into your way. Brush the, this is my slicker just for shaping the hair. This is not for brushing the hair. Okay. And if you like any of the tools I'm using, I have a reason why I use everything. I hate wasting money. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Go to my store down below and uh, most of the product you'll find on there if there's something you can't find just email me the emails on that store 
I'm going to come back with my four guard in there so it's all the same length. Anything sticking out, brush the hair up and in your way and then cut, cut it right back down. Okay, I'm going to come back with my four on that. I don't know why I keep messing with it. Okay, stay stood up. If you're not sure where that, that knuckle is right there, feel first. There's a lot of static. Brush all that up and then cut it down. You can see that pad from this side, all the hair under it. Brush, cut all that out. There's a quite a bit of mat, so I'm not really looking at the overall haircut in general this time around. Hopefully next time we get the brushing down at home, and we'll have a bit bit of a different look. and can work on no mats, you know what I'm saying? I am watching myself here. Look through the hair so you can brush that forward there. Brush things forward and back because it'll change when you blow dry it, right? It's hanging out and you can see it, grab it, but if it's dangerous, don't. Brush that forward and up. It's in your way. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> don't look at me like that. What is that? <laughs> I know. You don't like that either? Come on. You're all right can see this thing hanging out at me here. Okay. Forward. If it's wet already, and there, I'm getting some whiskers here, I have to, but if it's wet already and, and he's always drooling, that's what's going to get matted. So go ahead and just get it out of there. That way the next time around, after the brushing homework and stuff, we'll see if we can leave the face longer or not. Because with this huge overbite, you know, look at that, the overbite there, maybe it's just not the mouth it can't function exactly how it should. So you just got to experiment and tell parents, hey, we're watching to see if the mouth is always drooling, because there's lots of drool here. This is all matted in there. Okay, so now I'm actually going to take the de ears down to a 10. Kind of decided to do that while I was grooming. Put everything back to the same place. Stay organized. Okay. I'm going to do the 10 down because all in all, he does have some ear problems. And this will help us, whatever they decide to do, it'll help. Like, if you're going to do cleaning every day, it's going to get nasty anyway. So let's just take these down. Yorkie ears are usually tipped anyway. So we're going to take all this out. All this yellow gunk looking. Well, I've got to come back and pull that out, but... Get all that down. Okay. 
That way we can also see what we're working with here. Don't do that. Don't move, don't get mad. Don't get mad, no. Stop, he's trying to fight me on this. No, stop, stop moving around. This is serious. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad. Okay, now I'm going to actually muzzle him again to pull his ear hair out because I think it's going to be painful. work on this one huh yeah I know you're not gonna like I know we're not going to the we're not going to the nails okay we're not going to the nails we're doing something different we're not going to the nails I'm actually gonna try not to use ear powder if I have to because I am gonna use my hemostats okay he can still bite through this so I'm this is all yellow and gunky oh, oh yeah okay okay it's super painful all right so um we are gonna, we are, David's gonna do the towel wrap and lay on him and hold him down while I pull all this out because most of the time, the ear hair veterinarians in our area has said, tell your groomer to get all this ear hair out of the way so that they can treat the ear. So I'm not gonna recommend an ear flushing situation for this dog because the ears are so bad, but I am going to get that ear hair out of, out of the ears and save it aside for the pet parents. So we're gonna come back to you after we pull all the ear hair out. David, do you wanna look one more time? Did you get a good look? Okay, he might come out biting me now. So, yeah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, yeah, hopefully you got a good view on that, David, earlier, because right now he's it's too sensitive. He knows what we're going to do. So, we'll see you in a minute. Thank you all for watching. We're back after the bath. We attempted to do the ears right after this last cut. Oh, no, 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 man. He was, we're not even going to post that because he was like, it was on a different camera we were trying to grasp, but he got really mad trying to pull that ear hair. The reason why is because the ears are infected. One of them is so infected, it's swollen shut on the, the ear canal. So I'm gonna, I wanted to get the ear hair out of the way for, for the veterinarian, but honestly, he's in a lot of pain. I'm gonna have to let the veterinarian handle that on their own. I will brief the pet parent. I will show them the videos that we have, but sometimes you just don't wanna push it. He's gonna have to go see the vet anyway, and it's gonna, he's gonna go through it all over there again. Ears are in really tough shape, so. We're gonna, he's a not, he did not get a blow dry, but we are going to finalize his haircut now and I'm not gonna make it too detailed, but we're gonna go from there. But hold on a second, we have someone that walked in, so give us a minute here. So we're back cleaning up everything with the four. He's lightly damp, but honestly, he'll dry very fast. Can you stand up for me? So now we know what we can, what uh, aggression we can get out of him. So always have your guard up. Um, you never know if you just hit the wrong button somewhere it will trigger a reaction and you saw the reaction you guys so always be careful but you can see like now i've got notes down and we're going to handle the next uh the next room we're going to go we're going to muzzle with mom first and then attack the 
nails and the ears first, and then we're gonna go into the haircut. So I don't have to keep using the towel. And if he sees the towel, he'll get mad. If he sees the muzzle, he gets mad. He starts to learn, you know, the muzzle and everything being on. So next time we do all that first, not get out of the way and not, and not have to look back. And we'll do that with mom, mom's assistance. Because I don't think he wants to be mean. He just, there's a couple things that have happened before and that's just his reaction, you know? He does have a bump there. Mom had told me about that. We're still using our four. Push him forward here. Don't get mad. I don't want to touch his ear. There you go. Can you look at me now? There you go. Okay, I'm gonna come back with my scissors. Come here. Come on. Come here. Don't get mad at me. Come here. Let me see. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. You're fine. Don't get mad. Let me see here. Uh-uh, no, don't get mad. No biting. No biting. Man, he's getting feisty. No biting. You're fine. I have to make a note to that. He does not like his face messed with too. After a long period of time, like the patience level wears out. I'm not gonna mess with the ears anymore, but I'm gonna try to at least get these scragglies hanging down. Boy, he was showing those teeth, wasn't he? You just never know. He was super sweet earlier, remember? Don't get mad, dude. I'm just trying to get this trimmed off. Okay. All the fine tuning, I really don't care. We've got all the hair off, you know, but all this fine tuning stuff, I'm not really, I'm not gonna pressure it. We got all the hair cut off, all the mats are out. We already wore his patience pretty thin. So if you're working with an aggressive dog, if, if it's very dangerous, you're gonna have to make a call for you and your staff. So just make sure, especially when there's other medical issues that are causing a pain, so. I think we're looking good here, you guys. Let me clean up the table a little bit and get one last good look. Can you stand up for me? I'm like afraid you're gonna stand up. Up, stand up, stand up. Don't get mad. I'm way past done. You're good. Stay, stay there. You're good. Up, still. You're good. You're good. Don't get mad. Oh, I hated his front feet. You're good, man. Just barely some of these things. To, I don't really care, right? But I'm gonna take care of just a tiny bit more here. Not a big deal. If you can't do that, it's fine. It's just each situation is different. Okay, here we go. All right, so if you, ever, if you guys need any products or anything, check below. Be sure to shop with us, share, 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 subscribe. That helps us grow. 
And if you know dogs like this, please send them our way. Or if you need advice, please uh, let us help you. Thanks a lot for watching DD Corey with My Favorite Groomer. Bye.